Once a man said, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. That man is none other than Elon Musk, whose aerospace company, SpaceX, is set to launch their first Falcon 9 rocket in 2022 out of the dozens of launches to be made later this year. SpaceX is all set to accomplish more this year after they set a new record of 31 Falcon 9 launches in 2021, beating their own previous best of 26 in 2020. But wait a minute, it's not just a news or a headline. There exists a series of events and struggles of this man in the past, which has led to the happening of the impossible right now. For those who know and for those who don't know, this is the world of Tesla. And even if you are at least 1% interested in any information or news related to Tesla, SpaceX, or Elon Musk, you are at the right place. So keep watching the video and don't forget to land your fingers on that subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you'll be notified each time we have got something new for you. SpaceX is a private spaceflight company that puts satellites into orbit and delivers cargo and, more recently, crew to the International Space Station. It was the first private company to send a cargo ship to the International Space Station, doing so in 2012. The company sent its first two astronauts to the ISS on May 30, 2020, aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon, and followed that test flight with the successful launch of four astronauts on November 15, 2020. As of early 2021, it's the only commercial spaceflight company capable of sending astronauts to space, although it may soon face competition from Boeing's CST-100 Starliner. But the question here is, who owns SpaceX? SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk, a South African-born businessman and entrepreneur. At age 30, Musk made his initial fortune by selling his two successful companies, Zip2, which he sold for $307 million in 1999, and PayPal, which eBay purchased for $1.5 billion in 2002, the New York Times reported. He decided his next major venture would be a privately funded space company. Initially, Elon Musk had the idea of sending a greenhouse dubbed the Mars Oasis to the Red Planet. His goal was to drum up public interest in exploration, while also providing a science base on Mars. But the cost ended up being way too high, and instead, Musk started a spaceflight company called SpaceX Exploration Technologies Corp, or SpaceX, now based in the Los Angeles suburb of Hawthorne, California. He spent a third of his reported fortune, $100 million, to get SpaceX going. There was skepticism that he would be successful, which persisted into SpaceX's first years. After spending 18 months toiling privately on a spacecraft, SpaceX unveiled the craft in 2006 under the name Dragon, and that was the start of a new chapter. Before talking about the Falcon 9 rockets made by SpaceX, do you know how much worth of SpaceX has increased in these years? A company valued at just $27 million in 2002 had come a long way beating its competitors in each aspect, whether it's satellite launch race or ISS missions. One of the competitors for the NASA lunar contract was originally Blue Origin, created by Jeff Bezos of Amazon. SpaceX now outshines Blue Origin and other rocket builders, emphasizing how it has become the highest profile partner of NASA in its human spaceflight program. Elon Musk has helped SpaceX reach new heights in these 19 years as the net worth of SpaceX is standing at an astonishing $100 billion, which puts its shares at about $560 a piece. This was a massive milestone for the company, becoming a 100 times unicorn, a private company worth $1 billion in the space industry. This valuation puts SpaceX up with similar valuations to publicly traded defense contractors like Boeing and Lockheed, who both own ULA and Airbus. 
That is while SpaceX only focuses on launches and satellite manufacturing, staying out the second most valuable private company in the world, the first one being called Cargill. Earlier this Thursday on the 6th of January at 4.49 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX launched their first Falcon 9 rocket into space successfully. But what is the story behind the name Falcon 9? Are there nine Falcons sitting in a rocket on the verge of enjoying a space mission? Or maybe Falcon would be Elon's favorite bird? Actually not. So where did the name Falcon actually come from? Looking over every name Musk has given to one of his machines, some patterns emerge. He's an avid sci-fi reader, but he also is partial to the more literary references, with even a bit of ornithology thrown in. The workhorse of SpaceX, Falcon 9, had made 134 launches since 2010, and only one mission turns out to be a complete failure, the other partial one making a tremendous success rate of 98.5%. Such centerpieces of the company deserve a suitably iconic name, and the rockets are named for the Millennium Falcon of Star Wars, one of the most iconic ships in all science fiction, especially since the space shuttle already claimed Enterprise nearly 44 years ago. Also, Elon Musk named one of his spacecrafts Dragon, after the 1963 song Puff the Magic Dragon, reportedly as a response to critics who considered his spaceflight projects impossible. Now that's smart, to be honest. On June 4, 2010, Falcon 9 nailed its first ever test flight. At 2.45 p.m. local time, the rocket blasted off from the coastal launch pad at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It reached an orbit of 155 miles above Earth. We got our Falcon 9 rocket to orbit, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk gleefully told reporters at the time. It achieved a near bullseye. Did you know it was the first rocket completely designed in the 21st century? Developed from a blank sheet to first launch in four and a half years for less than $300 million. Since then, the Falcon 9 has passed through many launches and used in a number of space transportation missions successfully. But one of the most historical moments was when, at 3.22 p.m. Eastern Time on May 30th, SpaceX's worm-clad Falcon 9 rocket became the first commercial rocket to lift astronauts into space. The blast from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center catapulted NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley into space and solidified Falcon 9's place in spaceflight history. That's it from this video of the world of Tesla. As SpaceX set to launch 50 to 60 Falcon 9 rockets this year, we will try our best to keep updating about the latest news related to Tesla, SpaceX, Starlink, or Elon Musk. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for even more great content.